Man, modern women can learn a lot from looking at the life of someone like Vivica A. Fox, who just did a recent interview, you know, discussing how she's 60 and looking for a man. Let's talk about it. Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spiritful episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, this is not a video to shame Vivica A. Fox because she made her own choices and she knew what the, you know, the risks were. But man, as a woman, you have to look at the life that she lived and what she is finally prioritizing after being 60 years old, now she's looking for a man, looking to settle down. You know, she's had all her accomplishments and she kind of has adopted uh, the mind of a man. Like a man isn't gonna uh, commit to a woman until he's ready to actually do what he needs to do righteously and he has to have the fruit to be able to uh, support the lifestyle that he desires. And when Vivica A. Fox was asked some particular questions about hot girl summer, you know, uh, about girls trips, about, uh, you know, a man that would support her going shopping, I want you to understand, as a woman, if you do not prioritize uh, relationships or finding a man early on in life, guess what? You're not gonna get one. It's like you knowing that there's already a limited supply and you wait to the very last minute and you know a good man is in high, high demand and then you're shocked when you can't find one but you waited 60 years. You know, there's a difference between uh, women that find a husband and then get their life going and start to do uh, some of the things that they want that their husband is in support of, they always have a man. And you gotta think, man, there's plenty of women out here that don't have nowhere near the success of Vivica A. Fox, but they have a spiritual covering. They got a husband, they got a provider. You see what I'm saying? And it's almost like if you gamble with choosing the income, the success, the fame, and put finding a man at the back of your priorities, it's gonna fail you. And I'm gonna be honest with you, man, there is, there's no, not a whole bunch of men out here that's looking for a woman, Vivica A. Fox, like, you know, looking for a woman that's Vivica A. Fox's age. It, it, it's pretty much, uh, defiled soil. You can't plant no seed in there. Uh, she's kind of uh, uh, stuck in her ways, set in her ways, and a man generally doesn't want to deal with that when he can uh, go elsewhere and find something, find a woman more cooperative. Because Vivica A. Fox is outspoken as she is, that's 60, 60 years of being outspoken, never prioritizing marriage placing the, the marriage bed in honor among all. And you're not about to tell a woman like her something. She's just not about to listen to any uh, any man. And that's why, uh, I mean, the, the chances of her finding a man is slim to none. You know, she'll get with guys that wanna, uh, she'll get with lawless guys that just wanna fornicate with her. But somebody that's, that's coming along and be like, man, I wanna wife her up. That's rare. I'm not saying it's possible, but it is rare, extremely rare for, uh, you know, a man to, like I said, want to come along. Now, you might get a man that has already been married and his wife possibly has died or something like that. He might come along and might want somebody like that for companionship, but he's not going to tie himself down 
uh, to a woman like Vivica A. Fox. You see what I'm saying? Her history, uh, 60 years of never prioritizing marriage, there's gonna be some conflict there. There's a high probability she does not know how to be a help me. Why would a man take a gamble on that? And I'll tell you, man, you as a woman, you wanna make sure that you invest in marriage early on, early on. If you're saying from an early age, I'm talking about your teens and your 20s, I desire to be married. And if you actually set uh, your sights on being married, you won't have a problem with that. And, 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 and ensure that your relationship with the Most High Yah is active. That way the Most High Yah uh, can, can, can bless your relationship. But you gotta think, man, women like Vivica A. Fox, uh, the best version of a man that she will get uh, is 50 Cent. That's why she's hooked on him, stuck on him. You know, he had that bad boy image. But there's no uh, high value man coming to scoop up Vivica A. Fox. Not when she openly supports hot girl summer, all of this thought culture and stuff like that. It's just not, just not gonna happen. You know, and let me tell you something. If she does get an opportunity at 60 years old, she better hold on to it because that grass ain't greener on the other side. At 60 years old, you cannot just be walking out of relationships uh, and thinking that you're just gonna be able to move and groove like you did when you was 20 and 30. You ain't got it like that no more. When all of that stuff, Vivica A. Fox uh, wipes all that makeup off, take all that hair off, Vivica A. Fox is somebody's grandma age. Ain't nobody looking for no grandma. No matter how good, what, what, what oftentimes what women do is they doll themselves up in front of other vain women. They say, girl, you look good for your age. But when you take all that off, you're gonna get the real Vivica A. Fox. You see what I'm saying? It should be somewhere uh, being a grandmother at that age, offering advice to the, to, the, to, the, to the younger generation. But nope, she's still out here in support of Hot Girl Summer. What did 60 years of her life amount to? All for her never uh, to fulfill her purpose that the Most High Yah created a woman for. One of the main purposes is reproduction being a help me. Close to the Yah Ministries kicking that thing, gun barrel straight. Wow.